Hey guys, this is your host Omar Guevaraz bringing you another video here from my little house. Sorry about the view guys, I'm doing uh, some remodeling. Sorry for the angle. Um, the point is guys of this blog is, um, well today is uh, August 6th, Saturday 2016. I'm doing the blog at 1, uh, 2.30 p.m. The point of the blog guys is the Hall of Fame. Uh, we already know who are the players that are going to be in the Hall of Fame class of 2016 and I have to consider this is one of the best classes in my opinion. I have seen a lot of great classes. Um, the past year I think was Ron Bettis and Tim Brown who headed the class. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know. But this is the first time, guys, that I'm doing a blog entirely into, uh, dedicated to the Hall of Fame. Those players that we have seen played. Fuck. Give me a second, guys. <sighs> Sorry if I re hope I reduce the noise. Like I was saying, uh, every year I always, um, there's three things I enjoy when it's, um, when it's the off season. One is the draft, the draft class. Uh, two is when they give the gold jacket to the Hall of Famers and three is when they give their speech and they present the statue. Now this class of 2016 has a lot of players and own former a lot of players and the former owners that I watch as a kid. The only players that I didn't watch because I'm not that old <laughs> I'm not that old I'm, on, um, I'm 39 um, is I think there's two two players of former players they select from the old school 56 is depending on the on the player in this case is Dick Stanfeld. He was an offensive guard and he played for the Lions and the Redskins so I cannot give my opinion on that on that player because um, I didn't see him play not even NFL films but the player that I did saw an old-school NFL was uh, uh, Ken Stabler and Ken Stabler guys was a top quarterback in the 70s if I can pick three players or three quarterbacks from um, well, I'm gonna take four two from each conference from the NFC I will take uh, Roger Staubach I know he's a couple player and the other guy is Frank Tarkinson but from the AFC, I will take the Blonde Bomber, Terry Bradshaw. Although the first five years was hell for the Steelers. Even, Gro even Joe Green said it. Uh, he said, back in the day, I think it, it was Joe Green and uh, Randy White. No. Uh, no, it's not Randy White. Randy? Front, front four Steelers 70s. I'm doing in this live, guys. I'm not editing. Just can't remember the guy. Steel curtain. Dwight White. Yeah. Even Dwight White. Randy White, I know because Randy White was from the, from the damn Cowboys. 
Anyway, Dwight White said, and Joe Green said it on interviews that I saw, that it was on the defensive side on, on the films, it was like this big on defense and this small on the offensive side. So, uh, Dwight White, uh, Joe Green, um, Elsie, and Ernie Holmes. Well, Ernie Holmes came before, after uh, Terry Bradshaw. Well, in, in this case, it should be uh, Min Joe Green, who arrived in 69, along with Green Greenwood, L.C. Greenwood arrived in 69, because Terry Bradshaw came in, in 70, and Dwight White, 71, and Ernie Holmes, uh, 72. Is the other quarterback that helped the Steelers build a dynasty. But the player that I'm talking about, because I'm, I'm talking out of the point, is Kenny Stabler, the snake. Uh, Kenny Stabler was the quarterback of the Raiders that brought their first NFL, uh, NFL Super Bowl or NFL championship back in the day. Their, their first NFL championship, uh, he took the Raiders to four straight I think it was four straight AFC titles. 74, he was MVP of 74, and he, yeah, 74 against Steelers, 75 against the Steelers, and they lost 76. Um, 76, and, and they, um, well, I think he was three times. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Oh no, no, okay. It was three years. Yeah, I was I was right. 74, 75, and 76. In 76, they beat the Steelers. It was the third uh, straight Steelers Raiders matchup. But uh, not to take away from Kenny Stabler, but um, the Steelers, they were in full strength on the running backs. But a win is a win. And he took the 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 Raiders to the Super Bowl Super Bowl 11 against the Vikings and they ran their ass off and they won their first um, Super Bowl I think um, it was from the Raiders it was um, it should have been Kenny Stabler it should have been Kenny Stiller the MVP, but they give they gave the Super Bowl. I mean, they gave the MVP to Bilet McCoff, but I can't remember the name of the guy. Uh, stupid. Belitnikov, Lin Swan, Fred Belitnikov. Fred Belitnikov was the second wide receiver in a row that won the Super Bowl. I mean, the, that won the a, the MVP. So, give me a second, guys. I'm going to wait. Come on! Let's crank it!